Ciao everyone, it's Magetino, and today we're back in my office. This time we're gonna focus about the car collection belonging to JK, singer and founder of Jamiroquay. JK is known not just for his music, which, by the way, I really love it. It's a great background whenever I wanna have fun with my cars. For house petrol heads, JK is quite famous because he's not just a great car enthusiast, but he's also a car collector. What I love about JK is the fact that he doesn't share his passion for cars not just through his social medias or by attending car events, but he does that also through his work, so his music and music videos. So, being the leader of a quite popular music band, you can tell JK doesn't have many problems whenever he wants to buy or sell one of the cars of his collection. It's been estimated that he had so far more than 100 cars, so the collection is quite big. We're not gonna talk about all the cars, I have listed some of them, so let's start from the first one. Let's start by saying that JK is a great Ferrari enthusiast. In today's video you're gonna see a lot of Ferraris. And the first one is this, the Enzo. With the time this car gets even better and it's so rare, just 400 built. But being black you can tell that it's even rarer. But this one it's actually unique because look at the interior, JK has asked Maranello to make a green interior just for him. So this car is not famous just because it's unique. JK made a song for this car, which is called Black Devil Car. But also, more than a decade ago, a guy has vandalized this car. As you can see, he damaged the windshield as well as the driver's window. Anyway, it's a good thing that over the time the car has been repaired, but this car is not part of his collection anymore. What a shame. And this one is possibly the most famous modern car taking part to his collection, the La Ferrari. Also, this car is very unique, you can tell why. Finished Verde Kermit, I got to see this car in person when it was on display in the Enzo Ferrari Museum in Modena, and even though I like the very particular configurations like this one, I have to say that in person I don't really like this shade of green, but still, look at the interior. Black with a green stitching that make a really good contrast. Even though I don't like this shade of green, I have to say big thumbs up to all those who dare to be different. And sadly, I have to say, also this car has been sold a long time ago. And moving on, if you consider yourself a great Ferrari enthusiast, and of course you have the money, you must have an F40 in the collection. And guess what? JK has one. I think the F40 is the holy grail of the Ferraris, and who knows, someday, well, this is my dream car. And now, moving to more recent Ferraris, just look at this! Absolutely incredible! Purple with golden wheels? Why not? This is so Lamborghini, but who cares? On this car, I think it looks great. Originally, this car came off the factory painted grey, but then he took the car to Topaz in London and asked for a new configuration. JK is passionate not just about the latest supercars, hypercars, he's a great enthusiast also of vintage and classics. And just look at this. In case you're wondering, you're looking at the Ferrari 330 GT Carrozzeria Vignale. This car is a one-off, and what's your opinion about this? Another car that I think it's one of the best classic Ferraris ever made, just look at this. The Ferrari 275 GTB, the soundtrack of this V12, it's shivering. And I love the fact that he used this car to make the music videos of Cloud9. And the car you see next to the Ferrari, it's the Mercedes 280 SC. And guess what? Also this car belongs to JK. So as you might have understood, I think he has a great test in cars. What do you think? And now, moving to another Ferrari model that I really like, guess why? It's the Ferrari 355. Apparently, he loved this car so much that over the time, he had two of them. The first one, I think it's the most popular one, black, GTS and 6-speed manual. It's the car that he used to make the music video Cosmic Girl. In this music video, there is another very interesting car we're gonna talk about very shortly. The second 355 looks very similar to mine. What a beautiful configuration and this car looks truly in a perfect shape. 
And now, moving on to more recent Ferraris, JK recently took delivery of this truly amazing Ferrari 488 Pista, painted blue Scotia with a very flashy brown interior, mostly made with Alcantara. This is so sweet. Until this point of the video, you have seen so many cars, each of them with a different and sweet configuration. Other interesting Ferraris that are worth to be mentioned, just look at this F12 TDF, grey with brown interior. I think this car, he should have kept it, because sadly, he sold it to an auction. Another Ferrari we don't really get to hear very much is the 575 Super America. Honestly, it's not a car I find spectacular to look at. Honestly, I think the coupe version looks a lot better. So guys, I don't want to annoy you to talk just about Ferrari, 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 because his car collection is not just about Maranello. One of the most popular non-Ferrari cars of his collection is this Lamborghini. This Diablo SE 30th anniversary, it's epic. It's one of the most baddest Lamborghinis ever made. It's quite rare, actually, just 150 produced, and JK actually had two of them, because there is a funny story behind this. When he wanted to make the music video Cosmic Girl, as you can see in the video there is a Diablo. During the making of the video, the car got crashed. Of course, he wanted to end the video quickly, and so instead of uh, repairing the car, he bought another one. During the make of the video, also the second one got damaged. I don't think uh, he was lucky during the making of this video, but still. Whenever I drive my Ferrari, I need to hear Cosmic Girl at least once. This video is so cool. Moving on, as you might have understood, JK loves analog and exciting cars. And of course, in his collection, there's also quite a few important Porsches. If you define yourself a Porsche collector, well, you must have a Carrera GT, of course if you can afford one. This one, painted silver, it's a very classic configuration. Nothing exciting for me, I will go for more freshy colors, but still, what a shape. I am absolutely in love with this car, it's so timeless, but still, too bad he sold it. Over the time, he also had the successor of the Carrera GT, the 19 Spider. If we get back to older Porsche's models, he had quite a few interesting ones. For example, just look at this. This is the mother of all the 911 RS models. We're talking about a Carrera RS made in 1973. And this one being a lightweight model, just 200 of these have been built and this is truly a collector's car. Over the time, he had also more recent 911 models like the Turbo, the GT3, GT3 RS, GT2 RS, Right now, he owns this 991 GT3 with a rather unique configuration. Originally, it was grey, then he sent the car to Topaz to make a very unique livery inspired from the old Porsche race cars. What do you think about it? We have mentioned quite a few Porsche models. Let's move on. I am not really a McLaren guy. Well, of course, the McLaren F1, you must love it. But aside that, there's not really many modern road-going McLaren models that I really appreciate. One of the few is the McLaren 675LT, and the one that JK owned, it looked quite sweet, actually, because painted gray with the orange seats that make a badass contrast. I think it's a great McLaren. It's a great product. The configuration make it truly aggressive, and one of the options you really have to go through if you want a 675 is the air scoop because it makes the car a lot more aggressive. I think this is one of the prettiest McLarens made in the modern era. I could continue a lot more because, as I said, JK had over 100 cars in his collection. I want to stop here the video with one last proper car of his collection because you can tell he's a genuine car guy because alongside the supercars, hypercars, the multi-million classics, he also had a Volvo. Just look at this. It's a 850R and with its five-cylinder engine, well, this is the perfect daily if your child doesn't want to arrive at school on late. Absolutely amazing. Many of you wanted me to focus on this car collection, and as always, guys, if you have any tips, comments, just make sure to write it in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more, and as always, thanks for watching. Ciao!